Today we're exploring the old ghost town of Etna, Pershing County, Nevada. It's been at least three, four years since we've explored this area. This was an old milling town along the Humboldt River, which is, that's the Humboldt River in February 2020. Not much water flow, but that's it right there. There's the Humboldt Mountain Range, all still snow capped. This town dates from the early 1860s. camps and biting areas around this area of Pershing County. There's not much left of the old town of Etna, but you have this retaining wall for, for a stamp from a stamp mill. Not really sure if this was the which exact one this was, but Right here was a stamp mill back in the 1860s. That's all that's left are these foundations, retaining walls, and such. And I'll show you the main town site in a little bit. There's not much left of that either. This is one of those places that most people don't even know existed. Thriving community in the early 1860s. What all the mining and stuff up here in Pershing County around the Humboldt range area was booming. Like I said, with uh, most of our videos, we're basically just retracing history. We don't necessarily look for, or we don't get, there's not a lot of ghost towns with standing buildings that are actually completely abandoned, desolate, remote, without other people. People don't like looking at stone foundations and rock ruins. Well, that, this isn't the channel for you. But we're more into the history aspect of it. It's pretty rough topography out here. Sorry about the wind noise.
of this place because the USGS coordinates from this are like two miles off. There's absolutely nothing there. Not a drop into the Humboldt River Gorge right here. This is one of those places that nobody, not too many people know about or even come out here because most people want to see standing buildings and you know, derelict buildings and stuff, but that's not what we do this is history. This is all significant history of the 1860s mighty boom here in northern Nevada, the Humboldt region. of about 500 people they had a butcher shop and a few saloons and all the normal stuff that you could have in an old mighty camp from that time period gonna cut the video of the walk to the actual or the actual business district was in this town. And I'll show you where the old ferry crossing was because they had a ferry that part of the town is located on the other side. Other stamp bill, there's very little less less that than is this one, but have to relocate that. I don't quite remember exactly where that is. Or where, it's up this way somewhere. There's a side shot. Ugh. <clears throat> 
down this cattle trail right here to get to the actual part of town where the business district was. Like I said, there's not a lot left here, but I did a video on this place probably three, four years ago. It was a picture sl slideshow. I want to actually get some video footage of it. I was going to fly my drone over this area because it would do it more justice. But unfortunately, the drone's out of commission. And I haven't purchased a new one. I don't make enough money to keep buying all this stuff. Don't make any money off this YouTube channel. We do this for a hobby. And, you know, we love history. bottles and pottery and such. And here was a building site at one time. That's probably a cellar hole. Probably a cellar hole. Comments can tell me how to filter the windows out. The other part of the another stamp mill was I'm gonna have to try to relocate that.
remember correctly, there was something down towards the river. Check it out. This was probably in the second mill site, I would think. This is all covered in over with dirt, but see right here. Let's go up this way a little bit. That was Bolt River. Let's go back up here. previous video commented sounds like you've been chopping wood oh well, that's because I have COPD
right here is probably the main street because this is where the business district was. And there's really nothing left except scattered debris. Stuff like this. Bottle, bottom of an old medicine bottle or whatever. There's my partner Mikey. He's been working with me on this these ventures for quite a few years. little stuff like that that's about it just debris scattered rocks the people that have been out here digging of course Chinese population here as well. <clears throat> Top to an old bottle. Another part of the building because you find timber out here in a treeless area. Ooh. A split square nail. Probably right there was the ferry crossing. Right on the other side, you see the road going up there? It's probably where they crossed and went downstream to Tory Town, which is what we have been able to locate an access road to where that was at. But here is just a final view of the town site of Etna. Nevada and we're gonna sign off pretty quick you see it what I see walking around here and the people don't like my film the way I film get yourself the equipment go out here and explore these places yourself it's simple simple quick easy if you like what you see please like share and subscribe Ghost Towns of Nevada and California, signing